Okay, let's look at what male sage grouse need to do to impress female sage grouse. The first thing you see is their really impressive plumage, that white pendulous bit around their neck and spiky tail. And they've got that high contrast black above and below. The little hair-like things in the back are phyllo plumes sticking up. They're pretty cool looking, but it's what they do with all that kit that's so amazing. Yeah, the display is, it goes really fast, but it's three heaves of that big throat pouch. One, two, three. You know, to really see it, we have to slow it down. And now here come these swishes, first swish. Second heave, more swishes. And third, rewind and play it over again. On the sides of the pouch, you can really see the stiff feathers. Those things are, God, they're like the teeth of a comb, and they rub them across the edge of the wing and make their sound with those. And then in that last heave, the wings are a little out to the side, and they pull their heads down into the air sac. You can really see it better from the side. All right, here we go. Swish. Swish. I actually think, okay, let's back up a little bit and hold that one frame. Yep, you see how his head is pulled in right there? You don't even see it. It disappears into the bottom, and the air sacs bulge all the way out, and it creates this pop, whistle, pop sound. So a sage grouse call is sort of... All of that popping and whistling is, is actually sounds radiating through those air sacs. Okay, let's go back to real speed. As if that wasn't complicated enough, the whole package is really directional, both visually and acoustically. These guys actually sound better from the side. Thuddy from the front and sharp from the side. You can see the female gets a particular perspective on that male. He has to keep her in a, in a particular place so she sees him the best and can assess him the best. So it's kind of a dance. He's going to turn. She's going to turn. It, it's almost as if he doesn't. He's not looking right at her, but he's displaying right at her. And he has to read the cues from her really well. If he's being too aggressive, she'll just walk away. She gets to listen to hundreds of these displays and just sit there and see how he does over and over again.